Right, welcome back, Mac 1340 PLCs. Uh, we are going to do an off delay timer now. I know I still have on delay up there. I'm just using the same program, just changing some things for you guys. Um, a lot of the setup I did in the last lecture, so if you go back and watch uh, lecture four with the on delay timer, uh, that'll show how to set up the tags and everything that's kind of predetermined over here. Um, if you go back and watch like the first and second lecture, you'll learn how to set up your PLC and download an interface. So this is mainly just kind of setting up the off delay timer. Okay, and remember this timer is uh, the one we're going to be using is a non-retentive. Okay, so that means it's not going to keep track of time accumulated if it loses uh, power and that sort of thing to reset. So over here on the right hand side where timer operations are, we're going to look at the TOF. Okay, so if you hover the cursor over, at least normally, all right, it'll tell you generate an off delay. So click on it, it tells you what it is. And right, we're gonna come over here, we're gonna drag it. Make sure you have that green box highlighted so it puts it in the right place. And we can just do like TOF and then do off delay. All right, then hit okay. So this timer is gonna set up the same way we did with the on delay for the most part. I've already made in the tag table here. All right, so if I bring up the tag table real quick, I've already made uh, the uh, um, the elapsed time right here, MD5, which I'm going to pull in. Okay, so if I go back to the main block over here, all right, right here, elapsed time, elapsed time MD5. So I'm going to put that in. All right, and then right here, I want to make sure that it is a T pound sign, and let's just do five seconds. Uh, so it's not very fast, or it's, so it's quick, sorry, not very slow. Okay, so now we have our off delay timer. So make sure that you compile right here. Make sure that there's no errors or warnings that you need to uh, take a look at. So if I go down here, zero errors, zero warnings, so that's good. Bring this back down to monitor it. All right, I'm going to click on the PLC. I'm going to download this to the PLC. Uh, remember, I've already set up the connection to the PLC so I don't have to re-go through all those steps if I keep the PLC on and I'm continuing on with my interface. Okay, so I'm going to hit the load button here. It's going to load it to the PLC and then hit finish. And last step is I need to monitor uh, what's going on here. All right, so you'll notice the off delay timers off. I'm using the uh, the Festo uh, IOSIM uh, right here. Like I said, we can do this on the, the Amatrol 87 iOS uh, simulator as well. So I have my E stop, my S stop. Remember, I couldn't uh, put the P there because it would pause my recording uh, when I did that. And then uh, I have the, t the start button. So what's going to happen is this is an off delay. So right now, this light's not you know, turned on. The timer's not doing anything. And I'm going to flip the switch here. All right. And notice now the timer's set, but it's not doing anything, right? Notice the accumulated time is zero and the light is on. I'm energizing the light. So remember that this is an off delay. So nothing is going to happen here until I actually flip the switch on the start button. Okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to flip the start switch off, okay, on my simulator. Notice now you can see the accumulated time going. So it's counting down from five seconds and after five seconds the light turned off. So I can energize it again all right, and the light's going to always be on right now. And then turn the switch off. You can see where it de-energizes there and then counts down in five. And the light switches off after five seconds and you can watch the accumulated time. So there's how we're using an off delay timer, all right, just to turn a light off, uh, you know, delay off. So this is kind of like, you know, when you close your car door and you uh, at night and you have the dome light that's on and how the dome light goes off after like 10 seconds or something. So very similar uh, to that. So Elsa, uh, you guys will be doing a lot of labs on this in class, but uh, as usual, uh, don't feel free to ask me questions or email me if you got any questions if you're working on this at home. Else guys, have a great day. See you in class.